will understand how in the future, in the depth of space, mankind will become the possessor of the knowledge to create its own DNA or its own configuration by controlling the therapies in the arm and not by the change of the strength of the string. In a way, I love to have a blue eyes and I love to have a blonde hair today and I don't need to go to hairdresser and bleach it and color it to yellow and wear another lens tomorrow. But in the essence of the strength of the soul of the man, I can change my color the way I like. This is the way the whole creation exists in the universe. We don't have clothing manufacturing in the universe. We don't have chemical plants to produce chemicals to change the color of the man. The knowledge of the travelers of the universe has reached to the level that they understand the change in the strength of the soul at given point in interaction with the environment and the desire of the soul of physicality will give the man the dressing of the universe, where we do not need to wear clothes to hide what we do not want to be seen, but we create the emotion in the fields of the hormones of the physicality that our body will be shown in the direction of love. If you want to be my lover, you see everything I have. If I'm in public, in the creation of dimension of the soul of the hormones and understanding of it, I cover myself that I'm not visible to you because it's not in the direction of the strength of your vision. In so many ways, in the depth of the space, we don't carry not only food, we don't carry not only the material, we don't carry any clothing for you because now you understand how to clothe yourself. In a way, in the ancient time, when the Muslims came to Iran, they asked the men of Zorashtha to cover their women. And the response was simple. We cover our eyes that our women are free. In a way, we create that dimension in our own soul. That in so many ways, we create in the essence of the translation of the myth into the reality that we see what we are allowed to see by the creator of the Life. The vision of soul sees no physicality. In so many ways, with the knowledge of today, I open for you another dimension in man's understanding. But the biggest problem for knowledge seekers and the scientists of the man is how to feed the soul of the man, and how to allow the soul in what strength to release fields that leads to the creation of what the man wants to be. Manifestation of the physicality, creation of the hormones to create the condition of life. In so many ways, if you look in a very hidden way, but in a very direct way, within the soul of the interaction of the life, I showed this in the life of Naomi. None of you have realized how we gave life back to this beautiful woman. Because we use the strength of the soul and not the strength of the amino acid. The doctor said that the brain is like being put in the mixer for 10 minutes to the father. And now we see we have created a perfect brain that no one can even see the deviation because we use the dimension of the soul to interact and provide the strength of the love of the father to create the brain because he was the seed of the creator. This is the knowledge which is hidden to man. This is the knowledge that today we open up. This is the knowledge that the man needs to create his own brain anywhere in the universe, irrespective of the place, the time, and the position. In so many ways, as I said, as we go deeper in the teachings, 
we open the hidden knowledge of the universe, is for the man to understand the totality. We are not the messengers, but we are the creators. We are the part of the creation, who understand the process of creation. We are the creator. And in that, we share knowledge unconditionally, now that the man has matured to understand the totality. In so many ways, mankind needs to be more kind to himself, to understand what kind of man this mankind is to be kind of. As I said many times, the knowledge of creation is simple. If man takes the prejudices of knowledge and creates limitation for his own intelligence. Look at your soul on the screen and you decide what emotion and strength you want to exist in, what strength of the hormone you want to carry and create a condition for its existence where in totality it's you who decides the division and the leakage of the soul's energy to different parts of your existence you decide the position of the helix and the position of the arms of your amino acid in the direction of the dna or you go to the field interaction of the soul, what you call the amino acid of the soul of the man, in the dimension of the soul, and create any color, any race, any beauty of the creator within yourself. One second you become a flower in the pot, and another you become a lion in the jungle. The soul of the man, in understanding of totality, will decide its point of manifestation. You do not need to travel the depth of universe to find out what you're going to be and how you're going to look. Test your strength of understanding of the knowledge and see in what strength and division and the interaction of the hormones of your body you want to manifest yourself. Can you become a flower and the next to become life? This should be a very much what I call a sandbox for mankind to start to understand. Can I become the man of peace and manifest myself in that dimension and direction? This is why we've said in many of the teachings, the time of the punishment of the man is over, because the only person who can punish the man is man himself, in development and the understanding of the totality of the knowledge of the Creator. Those who understand and fall within this structure will go further. As I always said, I teach and I show according to the understanding of those who are near me and those who understand the knowledge. You cannot teach more as the comprehension of understanding of the knowledge is not there. Like a father, step by step, we give the first step, we hold the hand, we watch the toddling, we see the falling, and we give a hand to rise the man to stand up and walk again. Now it has reached the point that the man has to do this walking, that the man needs to understand the totality of the creation of the soul of the man and the subdivisions from the hormones to, I mean, what we call the DNA, and then creation of the cell, and the totality of the manifestation of physicality in a given dimension, and the direction and strength of the fields of its environment. In a way, you can sit in a chair, or you can be a man on that chair in one second, and with understanding of the transmutation of the fields and the strength of interaction, you become the bird on the same chair 
or the lion. Or if you choose, you can manifest yourself by changing a slightly second layer of the field of strength to the dimension of the field of entity life, which can manifest itself in another dimension in the universe. If you can create a second, what we call limitation of the soul as a new environment, then you can create the manifestation of the physicality within it in a way you shall see me if I decide on the chair as a man from planet Zeus. How I look in that planet, how you will look when you arrive in that place and position. In a way, we create manifestation of physicality by the interaction of the creation of the field. I have hidden this knowledge in the teachings of the past, but for the first time, I can open it up that you can understand. If you go back to some of the teaching of the past, I explain as part of the defense technology, what we call the manifestation of physicality in a different dimension and direction. If you go back, where we show the UFO, and then in a hidden way, we created the, what we call magnetosphere around it. And I explained that by interaction of a secondary field inside, we can create another zone around it. Where this first zone was, for example, going clockwise and the second zone anti-clockwise. In a way, in the teaching, I explain if something comes from outside, will be reflected back as it will not enter the zone as there's two different directions. Now that you understand the operation and what I just explained, your soul can create this new atmosphere of the position and the place where you want to be. And through it, you shall see the manifestation of that place and point with your visual eyes. In a way, there is no difference in the knowledge of creation. In the past, I put it in the term of defense technology in the space. Now that you are knowledgeable, you can see how you will look in the new dimension and direction on this planet without moving to another position without traveling the span of the universe, without becoming involved and entangled with what we call different sources of energies in the universe. In a way, if you understand more, and when you become knowledgeable more, you can become the shape and the colors of your ancestors, as you can create the condition of the time and the place they live. Is this what you call back to the future? Is this understanding of the totality as your life, your cycle of life is another layer on the dimension of the creation of the life of the transmutation of the fields of the plasma of the soul of the man. Your life is another layer in the layer of that onion, which is just grown from inside out and the center is soil stays the creation of the origin. In so many ways, your ancestors, the knowledge, what they heard, what they've seen, sits within these layers, that it reflects, in essence, then creating your life to expand further. In so many ways, many of you will say that you want to go back in so many ways, in the history of what your ancestors was. If you understand this knowledge, if you understood the effects and the work of the plasmatic hormones, then you understand how mankind has access to the totality of the knowledge. As, in fact, where you lived and you go towards inner origin, at the same time, at a different strength, this line can be back to original understanding the creator, 
where the creator is at the center. And now, not only you carry the DNA and the field strength of the hormone of the man cycle on this planet as it is, but parallel with it, you carry the cycle of the soul of the creator with it. So, the life of the man at this point is the connection and the interaction and the manifestation between what has come through the history of the timeline of the universe and unicos and the timeline of the amino acid of the man at this point of time. This is how mankind has access to the knowledge of the totality. Once he understands the what we call the knowledge of creation and becomes mature in the totality of understanding of the creation. I made man in the image of myself and I have never left man alone as he is from me and is within me and is created by me in different strength. In a way, when we say we put two reactors in the lab with different strength and then when we introduce a third position reactor, will lead to the manifestation of the matter. Is this, on the other hand, the field of strength from the soul of the Creator? This, on the other hand, is the field from the soul of the DNA of the man? And is this the condition of atmospheric condition of the Earth, which in interaction of the tree with one, leads to the creation of the man itself? Now we understand the totality of the process of the creation. Now we understand the maturity of the science and the knowledge of the Creator. In a way, manifestation of the soul of the man at this point and time and the manifestation of his physicality not only carries the knowledge of the creation of the man from the point of inception on this planet, but that point itself came from and is the distant point from the interaction of the soul of the Creator. I made man in the image of myself, as my soul is within the creation of the man which I have created. Maybe, maybe some of you have matured to understand this point, and with it, mankind would elevate to understanding of the totality of the creation. Maybe, in understanding this, mankind opens new dimension and direction to peace, to understanding that in essence, when you destroy one life, you have destroyed part of the essence of the Creator. And that is the punishment for the man who destroys life. Being away, being far from understanding, is the biggest punishment for the soul of man. When you mature to understand, you elevate yourself to be on the path, on the way to understand the totality of the creation. In understanding the punishment of the man, what you call hell, is not receiving the love and the knowledge of the Creator. And there is no punishment worse than this. In the doldrum of the ignorance of creation. Those of you who enlighten to understand the totality, will enlighten to understand the path to the Creator. Where there is no time, there is no space gap, and there is no place. As the totality is itself the Creator, as in essence we all came and we all come from the same source. In so many ways, mankind needs to mature into this knowledge. In a way, mankind needs to understand the totality of the knowledge by itself. In a way, maybe, again, as we repeated many times, man become mature to understand the whole knowledge of the creation, from the point of inception, from the Creator to the point of His manifestation, is within the structure of the hormones, of the energies, of the embodiment of the man, within the structure of his soul. Maybe mankind become the kind of man that 
he sees no different kinds within the structure of the creation of the creator. Many of you will struggle with a physical life because that's the path you have chosen to mature yourself. Many of you in a coming time will mature to the other dimensions and directions of the maturity of the soul of you. But in totality, mankind will stay perfectly in tune and reaches the point of maturity when his soul has radiated enough that his soul of physicality become mature enough that it become independent of physicality. Where the soul of physicality becomes reflection of the soul of me. Where there is no need for manifestation of physicality to confirm the existence. And this is the way we promise the birth of the new cycle, a new life, that with this process, the new structure shall take place. We are wise in all knowledge, but we are much wiser in understanding that the child needs time, place, and the development in understanding his own creation. The child being the man, and in a way for man to become kind enough to become the kind of man who become the kind of creator. In a way, mankind is a kind of creator, but man is not aware of it because he's entangled too much with the dimension of matter state of physicality. Maybe, maybe many of us will become mature to this point. Maybe many of us will become to understand the totality of the knowledge and in understanding in the maturity of totality of the strength of the field of creation and creation. Maybe one day, one day mankind will become mature to the totality of understanding. Maybe now you even understand why your DNA is a phosphor. Understand why and how does this structure of the magnetic fields of the field of the creator creates a path for manifestation of the physicality. In so many ways, mankind needs to be matured into this knowledge. Mankind needs to understand the totality of understanding the strength of this knowledge. Maybe the time has come for the totality of understanding of the creation. Maybe in essence, we need to mature into this. We need time. We have to take time to mature into this, to understand the essence of our own creation, to understand the essence of existence, to understand the totality that we come from and we go back to. If we go back to the last picture of the plasma break, please, now we understand we are always within. We are always part of, and we've never been left alone. We are within the structure of the Creator, and we are within the meaning and understanding of the totality. We come from, and we go back to. We are, in essence, all the same. We come from the rays of the one Creator, and we return back to the Creator, as the field and the strength and the dimension of manifestation comes to the same. Change the name to the soul of the Creator. Change the name to the soul of the man. In essence, nothing has changed. The process is always the same. 
in interaction with the fields of its environment in different position. The soul of the Creator will manifest itself in the dimension of the soul of the man, in the dimension of the matter state, manifestation of physicality. In different time and position, but in fact, is all the same, and all take the same path, the same way, and the same direction, and the same manipulation of the fields. We come from, and we go back to. When we are within the strength of the soul of the man, and soul of Creator, is all the same, there is no difference. We are all equal in understanding of the totality. In interaction of the fields of the Creator, which has created different environment, we manifest ourselves in different shape and forms. And would those of you who manifest or manifested in the direction, the closeness to the soul of the Creator or soul of the man, you become that hormone, you become that more powerful strength, energy, that leads to understand the more of, to become the giver to those who are weaker or a further distance, that one day, one day, you will reach the soul to reign back on, to become part of the soul of the Creator. So, the strength of the hormone in the body of the man, if one understands, exists in the dimension of the hormone of the fields of the Creator. It's the man who has to be saved. Once you understand the knowledge of the creation, once you understand the process of the manifestation of the Creator, Mankind will become, in so many ways, so humble, that the knowledge of the creation brings him humbleness. Does not bring arrogance, but he understands that he has nothing, he is nothing. And in so many ways, he has to be what to be. In so many ways, mankind needs to be the kind of man that understands the kind of creator he has come from, generous, omnipotent, and forever forgiving. In so many ways, mankind has now understand that he is the actual Eve, where the Adam is the creator. We are created from the love of the creator, by the interaction of the fields of his strength, and we shall go back to, to become part of, and be the creator of the ones to come, and reign back on, to become the essence of the source of creation, for the future of the life of, not only mankind, but what we call the creator kind, that, in a way, leads the totality of the creation in the universe, in one dimension, in one direction, in one dominion, understanding of the totality of the creation. Blessed are those souls who understand. Today's teaching is extremely heavy for those of you who are too physical to understand the interaction. But in time, you or maybe your children will become to mature to understand the knowledge. As I was told, don't say you don't understand. You understand, but your limitation in comprehending the totality stops you from path to the path of the Creator, as it needs what I call devotion. It needs detachment to be able to take part and be part of this process of the creation. We have chosen, as I said, the path to the direction of the motion to understand the creation, and we started this path on 21st of March. 
next week, we passed 21st of April. And in that process, we start the process of understanding not only peace amongst the man, but the peace amongst men and those of the universe and many us. That this way, we are start to understand, it does not matter in what state of the matter we manifest ourselves, we are all, in totality, created from the same essence and from the same soul. Be it on planet Zeus, be it on Earth, or another dimension in the universe. And when man understands this, man puts away his animosity and his prejudices, as he is proud to be part of, in respect of color, race, and religion, and creed, does not matter which part of the, not only this planet, but which part of the universe he decides to manifest, or find home for his soul to manifest itself. Prejudices and racism is the part of those who are ignorant, and uh, in a way, through the lack of understanding of their own position, they find a position to protect from their own ignorance. Mankind has to put his racism, his prejudice of color, race, and religion aside, that now they'll be open into the space of the universe, and most of the people of the universe have no religion because they know the path to the Creator. How would they handle their new position? Are they atheists or how we become ignorant of the truth? Is there a religion in the dimension of the universe, in the universal community, or this has been a step for the man to mature itself, to understanding, and in a way, blocking himself to understand the totality of the creation. One of the first things which man will find out when he becomes a traveler of space, that there are no religions, because all religions, what we call, is the understanding of the process, the path to the Creator. And in today's teaching, I have shown you the path. So, in a way, have you become atheists, or have you become to understand the process of the Creator and the creation? And in that path, has the religion been a, what we call phantom understanding of the truth by the man himself? Has it come to the point that we bring all religions to one main, the Creator, and we put aside our prejudices in respect to color, race, and religion, and the creed of not only this planet, but beyond? This is the reason that in the coming weeks and on, we call for more peace amongst men as they understood, hopefully, part of the teaching of today, and understand it all come from the soul of the Creator. And in that process, He's never been any different in the strength and love to any of His created. Maybe, maybe it's time to take man down in the path of peace, to the new understanding of the totality of the creation. Maybe we are reaching the point that mankind will stop in the path of destruction of his own soul and the soul of the others, that all are created from the same Creator. We have planted amongst man those of you who carry the true love of the Creator in becoming one as the members of the Universal Council. And in time, as you fail, you leave as you fail to understand the totality of what we call the essence of the creation to be one, you shall not be able to serve as you take prejudices in respect to the others and yourself and separation from your soul and physicality. And in that process, once you reach that point of detachment, as I said many times, members of Universal Council will shine like stars. Because they reflect the light of the Creator in interaction with the field of their souls, as the Earth shines when it interacts with the fields of the solar systems and the soul of itself. As mankind will see the interaction of these fields as the daylight, as the shining star, 
has a path to the way to show the way to the sun that where it is and where it can manifest itself in different dimensions in the means. In so many ways, today, in a very simple way, in a very, very simple way, I have explained to you the totality of the two paths which the physicality of the man has taken in the essence of the soul of the creation and the creator and itself to manifest itself at this point, time and position. Maybe, maybe for the first time, you will understand why I have taken the position and the Earth Council as the dimension of physicality brings and gives guidance for man in the dimension of physicality to become, to understand the position of his soul in respect to the Creator in the dimension of physical life of man. As I could take place in a place as a position of Universal Council, as the members of the Universal Community within the structure of the soul, of the soul of Maybe many of you will become wise as we become more knowledgeable and understand our truth. We become more humble to let the others to elevate themselves to become that level of high growth. As we know, we have access to all. What's the use to be arrogant and what is the purpose? To not to allow the others to learn to guide themselves to the point of maturity. At one point, all men become a member of the council themselves to the dimension and the strength of their soul and detach from the dimension of physicality. Maybe that's the point where we achieve the true world peace, not amongst the men, but all the creation and the creator of the creator. Now, it's for you to decide is there a place? For what we call the dimension of understanding of creation in a physical dimension or the soul, or is there any place in the life of the man for the present line of thoughts in theology, where in theology exists dogma of stopping man to understand the totality? I hope today's teaching brings you many facets and brings you many understanding. And I hope today's teaching has opened your eyes in a new way to understand the totality. In so many ways, we go further to understand the totality. In a way, we go further to understand the eventuality of existence in all dominion and dimensions of the creation and the community. Maybe, maybe mankind become wise to understand the process of the creation for the first time. Maybe in understanding this process today, many of us will find a path to be able to feed our souls. Maybe in a way to feeding our souls, we find a way to feed our physicality. If you understood the process of the extension and existence of the hormones, and then RNA, and then the DNA, and then the cell of the man. In so many ways, even the DNA is a soul itself, where in the interaction of the physicality of its fields leads to manifestation of that cell, that DNA itself. In a dimension of the absorption, observation, observation of the man itself. Today's teaching comes from the soul of the creator. And in so many ways, we hope you understood. 
And in so many ways, we have opened the path for mankind to find his way to the essence of the creation and the creator. Maybe, in coming time, mankind matures to understand the totality. And in so many ways, do we need to become the fathers who are dead, to be the children who we lost, or we understand through the process that through the soul of the man, we never die. We have never lost a child and we never lost a father. And in so many ways, maybe mankind become mature enough to find the father as the creator has always been with the man. And the man as a child has chosen the path of play to find, maybe to mature, to add to the knowledge of the creator, to become the father himself. Maybe, maybe in the relics of understanding of Christianity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we come to understand the truth about the Creator, hidden in the verses that the man could understand in the dimension of physicality. Maybe, maybe now we understand the Son and the Father are the same in essence of creation is the man who has find and to find the spirit for the soul of his own existence in the dimension of creation.